Hello and welcome back to Maple Farm. It is now late June and today we've got some more straw to be getting in off our field but I figured to mix it up a little bit so we're not doing uh, like for like copies again. We're going to start the repurposing process of the big field we've harvested and already collected in off. So I'm going to jump in the New Holland. We are going to head down to the store and we're going to go and pick up a manure spreader because as we go around you'll see if you didn't know it was last episode we have a mountain of manure and that one's starting to fill up behind us as well so we might as well use that we'll get that on our fields and then we can start turning them over as you can see i'd already put the lease in it before we'd started today i knew i wanted to do this and we've gone for the stroutman ps2201 I think this has something like 23, 24,000 litre capacity, so I'm hoping we're going to be able to get quite a bit done. I'm hoping we're going to be able to shift some of that manure. If not, we're going to have to start selling it again. Maybe work out how to get that <laughs> the uh, biogas plant going. So, uh, yeah. Hopefully, as well today, it's not going to get picked up immensely. Um, <laughs> FS22 is not playing ball with my wheel settings, and instead of... Uh, going all loosey-goosey like it normally does when it doesn't want to play ball today <laughs> it's uh, it's so tight I'm, I'm already getting a workout on my left arm for the for it's so stiff and uh, no matter what I'm changing in my settings it's not wanting to uh, to ease up at all so uh, we're having a little one-arm gym session today but that does mean the wheel might get noisy I do apologize it's just one of them things. FS does not like to play ball ever. <laughs> It'll pick something and say, like, oh, everything else has gone fine. <laughs> we'll not let you have your wheel settings today. I've been in my LG Hub. I've turned my settings on, off. I've come out of the game three times, reset the computer, and it's just like, nope. I'll come out and I'll start again tomorrow, and... <laughs> It'll be as loose as a horse draws, and <laughs> I'll have to tighten everything up again. Right, we'll go around. I'm now thinking of which routes are going to be uh, at least strenuous on the wheel. Not for me, I'm a big lad, but the uh, <laughs> the noise factor. I was going to wheel load it, but I think because it's going to it's going to end up making it really noisy, we're going to do the, uh, the sneaky auto fill, I think. I think we're here, yep. Now I don't think we used this one before. We've we've leased manure spreaders. But I think we uh we went with something different. Wow, even with three hundred and some odd horsepower, our max fill capacity is still at seventy one percent. That's a little bit disheartening. I think we might have to turn that off for this. I, I, I got a big capacity one because I wanted to do <laughs> do lots of shit flicking. Never mind. Right. Didn't want to have to keep coming back and forth. If that was the case, I'd have just, you know... <laughs> well, couldn't have used a smaller tractor because it would have let me have filled less. But that's what we're working with. That's what we're working with. Right, we're going to have to pan out a bit. And then we'll open it up. That's not open, is it? It's going to want... Surely that's going to want me to do something different. No, that is open. Okay. I was expecting the back to do a little bit more. So we'll start flicking our manure. And this will just give us uh, a nice 40% uh, on, on the on the maximum fertilisation. So then once we've planted, we won't require as much artificial so uh, it should save us money I mean we could even plant and then just drop manure on again just give it another 40% but I think this is going to bring us up pretty close to where most crops are going to want us I think if we put in something like I think sunflowers soybeans and canola I think they're the ones that require the least by way of uh, nitrogen and I'm not 100% certain 
I think I covered this in precision farming, but then I'm not sure. It seems so long ago. I think, like in 19, some crops replenish the nitrogen as they would. They, they put nitrogen into the soil rather than extract it all out. So, uh, yeah, I meant to do a lot more on the <laughs> precision farm and experiment sort of series. It just all came down to time, unfortunately, and you know what? Still a, a year and a half in now, and just you know, still a very small, very small channel with uh, not a lot of afforded time. Not that in in the sense of uh, Roman will necessarily give me more time, but I can some sort can justify putting the time to it more and maybe neglecting a few other important things. I was watching uh, a video the other day and it was a you know I watch a lot of videos about you know trying to be successful on YouTube and uh, you know one of them, one of the things was you know being willing to make that sacrifice and cut other things out but those things that you have to cut out <laughs> time wise are uh, work, family, and, and, and anything else you enjoy. So, uh, it's, just, it's just mad. Madness. So, uh, yeah, anyway, we're going to try and uh, have a little bit of fun with this, though. We'll get there, people. We'll get there. What does my friend Redneck say? He's got a 15 year plan? Good man. I think I'm trying to try and work off a 5 year plan. 5 years sound good. 15 years I'll be, I'll be too old. <laughs> I, this needs to be a success long before then. Right. I was... Uh, was uh, oh I am should I say I am contemplating doing a, a little video uh, for those that have aspiring channels things like that people that are still uh, what they call on that grind to their first one thousand just doing a little video about actually what hitting that target means and how I would say how much money you make as a gaming channel at that at that one thousand marker. It's not about how much you make, it's about how little money you get as a gaming channel. Uh, the way that YouTube ads work is that video gaming channels are the lowest paying. So everyone else out there putting out different content and you see them doing their channels about how much they made, this is what they made, they do this, they do that. It's not that for video game channels. Do not think you're going to hit that money. I didn't. I didn't think I was going to, is what I'm saying. I, I did plenty of research beforehand. So I had a, a, a realistic idea of uh, what I was getting into and what I was doing. But this was uh, never set up as a, oh man, I'm going to do YouTube and I'm going to make money. This was, I'm a, <laughs> a dad that spends a lot of time at home. Uh, especially during the pandemic and wanted to share what I was doing and find a way of maybe reaching out to other like-minded people and you know what in the conversations down in the chat sometimes it's great to get that I also find it now on Twitter find a lot of like-minded people in a similar sort of situation quite often in completely different gaming fields and in different other genres within YouTube for why people start doing stuff this is very similar so yeah, in, in that sense, I'm hitting my goal. Everything else is a bonus. Quite a good spread on here. I think just because of the uh, the old stalk, the old crops and stuff going in, it's uh, well, it's just not easy for me to see. And I don't like just looking at the map. I mean, it's, it's unusual for me to even remember to put the map, the map up, so... I don't know what that little bit is that we're not... ferreting behind us. Whether that's like a, a compaction trail, or... I don't know. 
but that bit's not getting fur. But I think I need a couple more fills, and uh, this is actually going to be done, which is good because we do have a lot of, excuse me, a lot of straw to be getting in. Cut it off there so we can uh, come out. We've got still got a lot of straw to get in, and since we did the straw last time out, I wanted to show something different. Uh, like I, like I often do, I don't like making the videos exactly the same back to back, so show something different and then we'll we'll crack on with the straw again. We may have more time to uh, get that straw in and be able to either fertilize the other field. I think what I'm going to do is set, while we're doing our um, collection of straw, I'll set a worker to start plowing up that field, so we, I think we're going to have to go and lease a plow. Don't think we actually own one. I think we've always leased one. So yeah, we've got a cultivator. But we need to plow that field up. It's full of stones, so we might as well plow it up rather than have to come back to it and plow it up again after we've done the stone picking. After like one more harvest, then it tells us we need to plow it. Our cows are fine, lovely, jubbly. I forgot to check. The, uh, the amount of money we got off our milk. So if today we, we are afforded a little more time after uh, getting the straw in, because I want to get it in. I know it doesn't get affected by it, but we are due rain, obviously. We can see that. Um, so I'd rather not leave it out, just for that sort of bit of realism there. But yeah, I need to stock up the uh, the mineral feed and to be honest, I should be stocking up the mineral feed on both of the uh, uh, robot feeders. So we do need another trip to the store with our trailer and just get so much. We need to get so much. I don't even know, like I said before. I don't know how much that holds. I think because everything has an, ex an increased capacity because. Uh, Cavalier was uh, kind enough to provide us with these nice big um, animal enclosures. So he obviously he increased the capacity. I need to. I perhaps I don't need to. I could. So I could look in the uh, in the mod descriptions in the XML files and find it. But that would definitely be way too easy, wouldn't it? <laughs> it doesn't sound like something I do. Do my research first in that sense. I'll research other things, but the stuff that's going to affect the gameplay, apparently not. And if he's watching, he may he may comment, tell me down, but um, I can obviously have brought it by then. Or brought some by then. That's not a... Uh... Not bad coverage, I don't think. And it's got through some of the manure for us, so we'll keep the we'll keep the Stroutman for a bit. I went for the Stroutman because we're using the Stroutman uh, wagon as well, so that was uh, that was why I went with that. So we'll close that up and probably park that over by the manure for now, because we can put manure and slurry, we've got so much of it, we put manure and slurry on all of our fields when they're done. And if we do run out, that's fine, because we do have lots of solid fertilizer stocked up. Back at the store, and I'm thinking, rather than a plow, which, you know, I'd probably end up just getting a, a square plow anyway, let's go for something that's maybe supposed to be square, in the form of a subsoiler. And... We've got the uh, the Agrimaz Jero uh, 140. It's 150 horsepower, so we'll be able to pull that with a couple of different tools, four meters, and also it's uh, 4.3, 200 horsepower, so it'd be limited to just two tools pulling it. I quite like a bit of Cavernland, so I think I might go with that. I think we're going to buy it as well. It's 15 grand. We can afford to buy it, and I think it's well due that we own a plow or a subsoiler or a chisel. So, uh, yeah, 
Okay, we're going to buy. We'll buy. We'll just, what's it? Oh, different colours called. Uh, back. We'll just leave it as regular. Okay, purchase. And uh, here it is, attached on the back. Uh, nice, clean looking uh, subsoiler. Looks good. Plenty of detail going on. And that's by Tony and uh, Mephius FS. So we'll get that back to the field. And unfortunately, today, probably won't see it in action. I'll stick a cosplay worker on it. And uh, we'll let them do that while I go off and try and get this uh, straw baled up and put in. So off they go. They'll have that done. They'll probably take them, uh, I'd imagine, a good chunk of the day. It's quite a good field. Um, four metres, I think, is a, a good normal size. It's a real bit of kit, so it's a normal size thing. Rather than six, nine metres in a row, sometimes it's a little bit too unrealistic. We're trying to keep it mildly realistic here in, uh, in Maypole. So we're going to jump in the Lambo and our power. We own this one. The, uh, the Stroutman CFS470 we've got in here just in time to get out of the rain by the sounds of it. So uh, let's quickly head out and try and get our straw in before it gets too soggy. Oh, this <laughs> wheel's heavy. <laughs> so we're just going to get straight into it here. This was a barley field. Uh, we do have another barley field uh, just over yonder. That's not quite ready yet. I think that's going to be ready uh, July 1. I hope it's going to be ready July 1 anyway. Because our wheat is going to start turning as well. In fact, that barley that barley got planted last, didn't it? Both wheat fields are probably going to pop for that. But yeah, hopefully we can get this in. I don't think this is as big as the other field. So hopefully this one won't take as long. Not that the other one took uh, an overly long amount of time, but I'd like to try and get a few other things done as well. It is handy having that worker in the background, getting some more jobs done. Yeah, we can uh, get that ploughed up and then we can move them maybe on to stone picking while we uh, do our harvest. So we need to be there for that. Like stone pick that one, we can get this one uh, manure spread slurry spread and we can have workers help to uh, subsoil and do and what have you on that one yeah shame about the rain uh, again I'll, I'll probably show you the first one in its entirety we've got as good a bit of swaft off this either Anyway, yeah, I'll show you this first one in its entirety and we unload it and um, yeah, we'll probably do a decent time lapse to try and clear the field and uh, see where we're at after that. Now, I'm really hoping that when we try and go for time lapse that the traffic play ball with me and I don't get smacked about as I come in and out of the field on the road. That does happen sometimes. Sometimes it's my fault, but sometimes it's uh, AI traffic fault. And they do like to get a little bit congested at the end of this road. So we'll see. We shall see indeed. Almost full, 85%. We'll just take this top row off and uh, we'll head back. And I think we'll put all of this one into the, um, the beef shed. Although I think I'm... <laughs> picking the uh, most difficult one to fill there but we'll uh, we'll do that we'll head back and we'll get this in with the beefers i've checked the uh, the bed in straw in the bed in and they're both looking fine the beef cow they're, they're absolutely they've hardly used any of their bedding up well i'm just gonna jump inside and the the dairy cows have gone through quite a percentage so on the on the very last one, I'll probably drive through and top up uh, beddings as well, and then uh, stick it in whichever feeder I'm at when I'm finished. It has got proper grey, hasn't it? Is it June as well? Typical. We'll probably put our beacons on as well for when we're uh, going across the road. They're on now. You just can't see them.
there they be. Lovely jubbly. And once we've got all this harvesting out of the way and done and things are sorted on that front, we'll, uh, we'll look into uh, getting some more cows, I think. Especially once we've uh, made some money. We should have some money. Our beer is uh, ticking over. That'll be ready soon. Right, let's try and see what we can do about this unload. I think, to be fair, I don't even have to reverse into it like this. This is me being awkward. I can pull up right next to it and empty in. So uh, that might be a thing. Plus, that'll save me doing this. Just shaking it out. There we go. <laughs> it's funny, though. <laughs> Go have a little a little giggle. All right, we'll back up. Yeah, so when I come with the next one, I will pull alongside it and see if I can empty in. If not, we'll uh, do the reverse maneuver each time, and then. Well, I'm hoping then they're going to be pretty full. I mean, they're not. I know they're not. They're going to take nearly all of our straw, but I need to save some straw for bedding throughout the year because that's one of them things a bit like chicken feed it's one of them things they keep running out of so the probably the the, the large field with the wheat in that we don't need when we harvest that one that field is going to get bailed up the small field and the other barley field are probably put in the mixers and then we'll have some straw to uh, to try and maintain bedding and comfort for our cows throughout the year but yeah that junction there and like I say coming out of the field with a full full wagon it's going to be fun feel free to uh, clip anything that's remotely entertaining I have no issues with that clip it, share it all that good stuff in fact, if any of you feel like sharing any of my videos on any social media or directly to friends and family, do so. Feel obligated to if you must. <laughs> right, let's get this in. nearly 20 past 5 and uh, on the last little strip we've uh, done a pretty good job of clearing here I don't think this is all going to go in what doesn't go in that will stay um, I would say we'd leave and we'll bale it if we have uh, like a half bale or something but I'm hoping this field's going to be ploughed up and ready to work again by the time we're baling we shall see I'm hopeful, hopeful of it our worker appears to be doing pretty well um, on the uh, subsoil in front. Let's make sure no traffic. 
Yeah, they were getting through it from what I can see, so uh, hopefully that will continue. Now, we didn't mulch. I'd forgotten about mulching. For everything that's uh, gone on with me and the channel and the <laughs> my, my break and and things and things breaking, I'd forgotten the cycle. We forgot to mulch, and I can't remember. If we still have a long a long lease mulch on the go or not, or whether we ended up buying it. Hasn't quite finished that one. I'm actually ducking to try and look under that uh, chrome screen. Um, so there's done well. It's getting there. Oh, fence. The uh, work has been brilliant. Now that did take a little bit longer than I had hoped getting that in. I thought we were going to be a bit quicker. But it's a good job we got the larger wagon because it would have taken nearly twice as long because of the, the amount of extra trips back and forth we would have had to have done. And uh, as you clearly saw, unless you skipped the uh, time lapse, we can unload here, which is great. Doing him well. We'll, uh, we'll hop out, we'll have a little look at our numbers. So is that 220, 230,000 litres? Maybe, yeah, 230, 2,000 litres in there. I just want to check what we got in the other one. Oh, I was supposed to do bedding, weren't I? Buggery. <laughs> what have we got in here? Um, when we're looking at straw. That can't be right. Oh, that's the one. A hundred and I was gonna say that can't be right. That's that's the bedding in there for straw. Uh, Twenty-seven thousand. I think it only goes up to like thirty-five, so it's not too bad. They will last until we have another another straw to uh, to lay in. If not, they just go out go without for a day. It's that simple. Now I did want to head out and top up the mineral feed and things like that but I might jump in should I jump in or jump on yeah we'll go and do another manure spread or oh, is that too I think that's probably a bit too much isn't it? let's go check in on our subsoiler we'll do that I can go and collect <laughs> mineral feed off screen, have it loaded up, we can just bring that back at the start of the next episode. Because I'm going to have to fill it uh, or load it up and do and everything anyway. I think we could probably sell that milk tanker. Or that liquid tanker, sorry. I don't know why I decided to park it like, <laughs> I got like that, but I did. <laughs> Absolute moron, clearly. Right, let's jump to our worker in the subsoil and see how they're doing. Oh, they are cracking on through it. Looking really good, actually. I think it's uh, I think it's a good combination. I'm sure some people, oh, you could pull a much bigger whatever. But I think again for the size, that's right. For the for the field, for the farm, we we could pull something longer. We could get one of them big six meter things that go ten miles an hour. And, you know, sometimes, maybe when we've got a lot of fields to plough up all in one go, because they're all going to cycle round at roughly the same time again, um, maybe we'll get something, lease one and have one doing this. Gives us choices. Gives us choices. Now, I want to check, while we're just sitting with this person, it gives us a chance. We can pop in, and in the background that can be doing its thing. We have a look at our storage for tomatoes. Nearly at 300,000, so we're Probably good to sell a hundred thousand of them again, and our beer production is looking pretty good. I mean, it's, I think it's only been about well, it's been a month, hasn't it? Almost. So yeah, that's getting through it. I suppose we could keep our water for topping up water, but we've got a water thing up at the greenhouses anyway. So I think that could be uh, a quick sale item. Get rid of that safe space, and uh, yeah, because we're going to want to get. A, I think we're eventually we're going to want to get a manure spread of our own. That's going to need some uh, shed space. But that's 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 ticking over nicely. I don't think we've got anything else going on. That's just our greenhouses. We could check and see how they're doing. They need water. 
So maybe that'll be the start of the next episode. We'll be uh, topping up water in the greenhouses. But I think that is going to be it for today's episode. We'll I'll let this person finish for the day. But that is it for us. So uh, hopefully you've enjoyed it. It's a little bit samey as the last time. I do apologise. No harvest this time. But we did do some muck spreading. And we've got a new tool. And our worker is getting out of getting ready to, as I like to put it, repurpose these fields. So if you've enjoyed it, give it a big fat thumbs up down below. If you are new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. Turn your bell notification on. Find it when new videos are going live. As always, comments and feedback down there. You guys have a wonderful time. And hopefully I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.